One day there was a man on the side of the road. His car had broke down. He had the hood up. And a big limousine pulled in behind him. And the man got out. He was dressed from head to toe like a million bucks. And he walked over in his suit. And he said, do you need some help? And he said, yes. And he looked up under and he said, when I tell you, you just sit in there and hit the ignition and cut the car on when I tell you. And he did something under the hood and said, try it. And he tried it and it started right up. And the man said, my goodness, how did you do that? And he said, he said, uh, how much do I owe you? And the man said, you don't owe me a thing. He said, why would you in a limousine, you look like you're very well off. What, what, why would you stop to help me? He said, my name is Henry Ford. He said, I'm the creator of this car you're driving and it really bothers me to see one broke down on the side of the road not doing what I created it to do. I'm saying to somebody listening to me today that God's not going to replace you. He's going to fix you because it bothers Him to see you not living the life He created you to live. It's less about you. Your Father gets great joy when He sees you overcoming, when He sees you moving forward. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 gives 28 times and seasons in life. It says there's a time to be born, there's a time to die. There's a time to laugh, there's a time to cry. There's a time to dance, there's a time to mourn. There's a time to gather, there's a time to let go. All It's 28 different times in life. The one time I can't find in there is the time to quit. There is no time to quit in your life. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what depression. You don't know what fear. You don't know what financial load. You don't know that someone near you may have got the worst diagnosis they could imagine this week. But the word of the Lord to you today is you're doing better than you think you are. The Bible said that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. So if hell is the accuser of the brethren, I want to be a complimenter of the brethren. Jesus Christ loves you. And I know you may have issues, and you, but you're doing better than you think you are. Somebody needs to know today you're going to make it. Somebody needs to know today you're doing all right. You may not be what you ought to be, but you're not what you used to be. And you're going to get there by God's grace. Don't you give up. Don't you quit. And don't you keep putting yourself down. You're doing better than you think you are. Tell somebody you matter more than you think.